Hi everyone, it's Casey and today I wanted to make a video about customizing the newest little doll that I have. So these two dolls are Huju baby um, ball jointed dolls that I got from a website called Junkie Spot. I will put a link below for you. I've made previous videos about this doll. This was the first one that I bought and I did customize her and obviously do her face up. I also made her eyes, so if you're looking for those videos, they are previous videos I've done. Her wig is not permanently attached, which is why it's a little wobbly. So anyway, I recently sold this doll. I was planning on keeping her, but decided to sell her. So she will be traveling soon. But then I ordered another one because I did have a lot of fun making her, and she um, turned out really cute. So I wanted to order a different style. So I ordered this one and didn't really realize that the head was so much smaller. I kind of like the big head, which obviously because I make life dolls, that would make sense. I kind of like the big head look. So I'm not as happy with this little one, but I really want to still customize her and see, you know, what kind of potential she has. So I thought I'd make a video of her uh, customization and face up for you to watch from start to finish um, and we'll see what she looks like compared to this one. So one of the things I don't like about these little dolls is they're kind of an odd size and it's hard to find clothing for them so I did find some clothes that fit her. Now this new one is about the same size body but the head is a lot smaller so I'm going to see if the clothes um, that fit her fit this, this new one or what. So we'll put her away for now. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this new one. So the new one, from what I can tell, doesn't need as much customizing. So the other one that I showed you had very sharp features. This one doesn't. They're nice and rounded. The only thing that I don't really like about her, and I didn't like about the other one, is that the eyes are um, very pointy and almond shaped. And to me that just looks kind of alien, and I, I don't really like that look. So I'm going to soften the edges of the eyes. I am going to just sand her down in general on her face just to make sure there's no rough edges, but I don't think I'm going to do as much as I did on the other one. So let's do that um, and then we'll, you know, prep her and get ready to paint her. So all I'm going to do for changing this doll is use my curve file to sort of change this shape of this eye in here so it's a little less sharp and really that's it so let's, let's do that Sandpaper. 
So I'm going to sand the entire surface of the doll. And actually, I'm going to see if we can get the head off, the back of the head off. A lot of these dolls, the other one was a lot worse as far as being very rough. So these dolls are not super expensive. They're around $25, $26. So, you know, they don't come perfectly finished. This one is pretty good though. I don't see a lot of rough spots, but we're still going to sand it just, just to be sure, make sure everything is really smooth. Okay, so I'm back and between working on this one in the, the first part of the video and now I ordered another Huju a baby with the big head. So I have another one that I'm going to work on um, hopefully this weekend. So for now I'm going to just put this one aside but it will be, this is what they look like when, when they first come. So we'll see what this one's going to look like. I ordered some wigs for them and I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the right size. So I'm going to probably have to order different wigs. So anyway, this one though, I finished carving and sanding and she has been prepped now for painting. What I do for these dolls is I get a baggie and I cut a hole in the top and I put their head through and then I rubber band it so that I can spray them and prep them with sealant um, for painting. Because, um, because these dolls are string jointed, you can see in the back here, if you wanna take the head off, you have to, as far as I know, I, I'm, no, I'm not an expert on ball jointed dolls, but I believe you have to cut the string. And I am terrified of having to restring one of these dolls, so I would rather not. So I do this so that I can spray without affecting the body. So that's why she's wrapped like this. So I've sprayed her now with some Mr. Super Clear and she's ready for painting. So, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch me as I paint her. I don't really have a plan at this point for what I wanna do. I think I'm just gonna do kind of a natural look. This is a really small doll, you can see. So I don't wanna do um, too much. I had ordered her a pale blonde wig but I think it's gonna be a little bit too big. Pretty much all the wigs I ordered for several different dolls seem to be too big. So um, I'm kind of disappointed. This was the wig that I ordered. And I don't know, it, it might work. So, so because she's gonna be a pale blonde or probably a pale blonde, um, I'm gonna do kind of a soft look. I might add some freckles, so we'll see. But um, as far as painting, as always, I use several different colors of watercolor colored pencils, and I use pastels. So I'm not gonna talk through this video or give instruction. I'm just gonna let you watch me work, so I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. 